Second Chronicles, Solomon asked for wisdom. Solomon, son of David, took firm control of his kingdom, for the Lord his God was with him and made him very powerful. Solomon called together all the leaders of Israel, the generals and the captains of the army, the judges and all the political and clan leaders. Then he led the entire assembly to the place of worship in Gibeon, for God's tabernacle was located there. This was the tabernacle that Moses, the Lord's servant, had made in the wilderness. David had there already moved the ark of God from Kirajurim to the tent he had prepared for it in Jerusalem, but the bronze altar made by Basil, son of Uri and grandson of Hur, was there a Gibeon in front of the tabernacle of the Lord. So Solomon and the people gathered in front of it to consult the Lord. There in front of the tabernacle, Solomon went up to the bronze altar in the Lord's presence and sacrificed 1,000 burnt offerings on it. That night, Solomon the night God appeared to Solomon and said, What do you want us and and I will give it to you? Solomon replied to God, You showed great and faithful love to David my father, and now you have made me king in his place. O oh Lord, please O oh Lord God, please continue to keep your promise to David my father, for you have made me king over a people as numerous as the dust of the earth. Give me the wisdom and knowledge to lead them properly, for who could possibly govern this people, govern this great people of yours? God said to Solomon, Because your greatest desire is to help your people, and, to you, and you did not ask for wealth, riches, fame, or even the death of your enemies or a long life, but rather you ask for wisdom and knowledge to properly govern my people. I will certainly give you the wisdom and knowledge you requested, but I will also give you wealth, riches, and fame such as no other king has had before you or at will, such as no other king has had before you or will ever have in the future. Then Solomon returned to Jerusalem from the tabernacle at the place of worship in Gibeon, and he reigned over Israel. Solomon built, a, Solomon built up a huge force of chariots and horses. He had 1,400 chariots, and 12,000 horses, he stationed some of them in the chariot cities and some near him in Jerusalem. The king made silver and gold as plentiful in Jerusalem as stone. And valuable cedar timber was as common as the sycamore fig trees that grow in the foothills of Judah. Solomon's horses were imported from Egypt and from Cilicia, the King's traders acquired them from Cilicia at the standard price. At that time, chariots from Egypt could be at that time, chariots from Egypt could be purchased for six hundred pieces of silver. The horses for one hundred fifty pieces of silver. They were then exported to the kings of the Hittites and the kings of Aram. This is the word of God. <clears throat> 